Namaste. I am Dr. Kapilji Chakravarti. I am a consultant nephrologist and renal transplant physician and also head of the Department of Nephrology in BS Medical College, Bakura, in West Bengal. Uh, today, um, I will be talking on how to guide patients who are having a diagnosed to be suffering from chronic kidney disease. Now, we have in our body two kidneys on each flanks. So people who are very unfortunate, they actually suffer from ailments of kidney. It is not a very rare disease. It's quite common. And uh, because of the gravity of the disease, when somebody is diagnosed to be having kidney ailment, they respond differently. Now, diagnosis of kidney disease itself brings a lot of emotional and physical trauma to the patient. So the first thing that comes to his mind is how to carry on with this disease. Now, there are very uh, important aspects which uh, today I'll be uh, covering so that these patients can follow it for a lifetime to uh, take care of their ailment. Chronic kidney disease is a lifelong disease which is going to last with the patient for, la for his life. So he need to be very stringent regarding his diet, his medications, and some other uh, habits, which I'll be discussing in details in my talk today. First of all, he need to visit his physician regularly so that whatever prescriptions are given to take care of his kidneys should be adhered to strictly. So first of all is medications. So whatever medications the physician prescribes that the patient has to comply with utmost care. And along with the medications, what is most important is the diet. So he has to strict, strictly adhere to the diet which has been prescribed by the physician and dietitian. Along with that, the patient has to remain physically fit and active. For that, he has to follow a regular routine of exercise, which can then any time of the day when he can manage. And exercising will keep patient's heart, patient kidney, patient bone, and his mind in sound state. There are a few other things that needs to be taken care of in these patients who are diagnosed to be having sick kidney. So many patients are actually having uh, addictions like smoking, alcohol. So they need to shun smoking and uh, as early as possible and reduce their alcohol intake to recommended levels. They always need to check their blood pressure and keep them below the recommended level. Those patients who are diabetic should adhere to their diet and medications to maintain a good glycemic control or adequate control of their blood sugar. There are also uh, advices regarding vaccinations. So whatever advices are given by physicians, and regarding regular vaccinations, they have to take them time to time. Along with that, as I've already mentioned, eating well helps in maintaining good health in spite of having kidney disease. So regularly with the reports, patients have to visit the physician and dietitians and discuss with them regarding the diet. It is not important that patients should be taking bland diet, they can do some innovations uh, with, the, and, you know, with the help of dietitian and physicians to, to uh, take diets which are not that bland. And what is most important is uh, regular visit to physicians so that the disease is uh, taken care of and uh, adequate treatment and other advices are given time to time. And the very important aspect is uh, making a support team because patient who is having kidney disease can have emergencies anytime. So making friends, making uh, contacts with people who are having kidney disease and also making a good support group will help in case of emergencies to tide over the crisis. So taking help of all these aspects we can live well with kidney disease. Kidney disease is such a disease where if you adhere to 
the simple advices which I have mentioned, I think you'll have a smooth sail. Although there are instances where even with the uh, utmost care taken for medicines and that, and you may end up in emergencies for which uh, the support team, making a support team will go a long way in helping you out to tide over this crisis. Okay. Thank you.